Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this XRX large digital wall clock with Wi-Fi sync. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this opened up. So here's the clock. Let's see if there's anything else here. In the upper left corner here, we have a power brick. Pull that out, pull the plastic foam off of it. So this outputs 12 volts at one amp. Let's open this. So let's pull this out. I'll get the manual out here. So it comes with a mounting template for drilling holes in the wall if you want to mount it. it. Looks like it has some keyhole slots there on either side. So that's nice, that saves you a little bit of work. So you can put a level up on the wall and set this on top of your level and you'll know exactly where to drill your holes. And here's the manual. And it says suitable for living room, office, classroom, hospital, subway places, Wi-Fi calibration time. This would also work well in something like a retirement home. I know a lot of people when they get older, they have trouble seeing. A big clock like this would be very useful. But also like it said, classroom or schools, they cares, Sunday schools, things like that. So I'm not going to go over every little bit of the instructions here, but I'll kind of scroll here. You can pause and read through these if you want. But I'll go over setting this up on Wi-Fi. So let's take a look at this. I'll leave that film on there for a second. Let's look at the back here. So here we have an ambient light sensor. We have a snooze button. It says timer, play, pause, set, timer, hour, plus 12, 24 hour, timer, minute, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and this says timer, reset, alarm, set, timer. So let's take a look in here. So this has the power in here, so I can plug the power in like so, and I'll run this down the side. It looks like you can run it down or to the side. There's little channels for each one. I'll just run it down for now, or maybe I'll run it out the side. It doesn't really matter. Okay, put that back on. There is a little spot here. It says AAA battery. I think that's for a different iteration of this. And here's a little wire sticking out. I'm guessing that's the temperature sensor. And here we have brightness adjustment. We have high auto and low then in the middle we have the stand that can flip out to set it up so you can use that stand or you can use those keyholes to mount it and here we have a speaker that's a very large speaker so i'll pop this out turn this around i'll pull off the protective coating there we go i'll plug this into power Okay, so that's very bright, I like that. It just beeped. So I do need to unplug this because I just read the directions. I'll just turn it off. Okay, so it says hold down the alarm set and the timer button at the same time before plugging in the clock. You must hold them down until the power is connected and you hear the beep. So I will find those buttons here. So it's the bottom two buttons. I'll hold those down and I'll flip the switch on my power supply here to turn it on. Okay, we had a beep. So now I'll go over to my iPad here. And I'm going to watch for this Wi-Fi access point to come up. It's HQX2128. So I see that. I'll tap on it. Next, I'll go into a browser. I'll enter in this IP address, which is 192.168.88.1. So it has two options here, web config and upgrade. I'll tap on web config. So it wants me to enter in my SSID. So I'll choose my SSID of my Wi-Fi access point. I'll enter in my password. I'll enter in my time zone. So I'm central time. So I'll do minus six for my offset. I'll hit submit. It says success. So now the Wi-Fi symbol should light up here. I'm guessing it's connecting up. Okay. So the Wi-Fi signal is up. So this does have instructions on setting the time if you don't have Wi-Fi. But Wi-Fi is the preferred way because it will automatically set itself if the power goes out. When the power comes back on, it will connect to Wi-Fi and reset. So let's take a look at the clock. So you can see this is very bright. Let me turn off my light. So you can see it. I'm going to turn the overhead light off and this should dim. I think it's in auto mode. So that dimmed. Let me turn on my camera light. So I want to point out I have a power meter hooked over here and it's drawing about 6.3 watts. So it's very low energy. Then we can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So for that, I'll press the CF button. Okay, so now we're in Fahrenheit mode. So it's 71 degrees Fahrenheit here inside. So we can set the alarm. I'll hit alarm set and we have alarm one. So I'll hit set. We can turn this on or off and now we can change the time. Oops, let me try that again. So it's a little tricky to do this on camera because I don't want to block the camera. So I'm pressing these buttons to go up and down here. It's plus minus and then set to go to the next thing. So here I will set this to, I don't know, 41, maybe 42. See how fast I can do it. Then one E means every day. I think it's set. Okay, so there's the alarm. And now we can press snooze if we want, and that will snooze it. So if I want to turn the alarm off, 
which I do so it doesn't scare me tomorrow. I can press alarm here and then I'll press set and I'll turn it off. There we go, that's alarm set. There we go, we're back at the main screen. So this also has a count up, count down timer. So I'll hit timer on it to go into the timing mode. Okay, so to start, stop, I'll hit that snooze button. So this is the count up timer. So I want to clear this timer, I'll hold down these two buttons. I'll just press them. They say timer reset. Now to set the countdown timer, I'll do set. So these three buttons here is hour, minutes, and seconds. So I will hit this for seconds. I'll do two seconds, and then I will hit play. That should count down. There we go, it's setting it off. So the countdown timer is probably not super convenient if you have this mounted high up on a wall, but if you have this mounted on a desk or something, so say you have a daycare retirement center and you're doing like a half hour of game time, you could set this to 30 minutes, have that countdown, and people can look at this and they'll know how much time they have left. Or maybe you're a school and you have a half hour test. So this does have an hourly alarm setting. So it says press alarm settings on the back for two seconds. Actually, let me get out of timer mode. Do alarm set for two seconds. And we have these different hourly settings. So we set that, I'll hit alarm set, I'll hit set. And then we're gonna to go to mod, and I'll just show the instructions here. So we have these three chimes, and then over here we have mod one is not chime, mod two is hourly chime, and mod three is chime from six to 9 p.m., 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., and turn it off from 10 to 5 a.m. So I don't want the chime going, but if you do want the chime, you can turn that on there. So I will just hit set here, or it exited out of there, okay? So now we're back to the default mode. So that's the x rex large digital wall clock with Wi-Fi sync. This clock is super easy to read. If you mount this up on a wall, you can see it from far away. This would be good for people with bad vision, areas where you have a lot of people. I like that this has more than just the time on it. it has the time, it has the date, has the temperature. And of course, the really nice feature of this is that Wi-Fi sync. When the power goes out, especially if you had this mounted up high on a wall, you wouldn't have to climb up there with a the ladder to reset it. When the power comes back on, it will resync up to Wi-Fi and it will reconnect up with the time. I found setting up was pretty easy. This has its own little Wi-Fi access point on it. You connect to it and then you connect it up to your Wi-Fi access point from there on out. So one thing I want to point out, the blue in the video looks a little darker than it does in person. This is a more of a lighter blue. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.